Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can install a Minecraft server on a CentOS virtual machine or dedicated server. Um, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to have some kind of virtual server or dedicated server. If you're after a dedicated server um, I can recommend someone I'm with at present which seem to be quite good. Um, they are only for um, you know, learning how to do things, so things like that. Um, they're not designed for business use, so you can't get multiple IPs, you can't get anything too extreme, etc. But they are really cheap, um, but they do only use consumer grade hardware. So, the company I'm going to recommend is however the hell you say that, I have no idea. Um, these are located in France. I've got a server which is that one, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's this one. But um, as you can tell, it's really cheap. You don't have to pay a set fee, but that's fine. But um, this video is going to be done on a virtual machine, which I'm hosting myself. So if you want your own virtual machine, then go on the forum and request it somewhere, and I'll set one up for you because I'm nice. Um, so once we've got our own virtual machine, we're going to need to log in as root. Um, so this is the console I'm going to be in. So this is a completely new server. It's just using CentOS 6.5 64-bit. It has 2 gig RAM, I believe. Um, yeah, 2 gig RAM and quad core. You know, it's not too bad. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to update the server. So let's do yum update. So that is how you update your server on CentOS. And then the next step is we're going to be installing a couple of things. So let's just confirm this. Yes, we do want to update. Blah, blah, blah. Hurry up. Wow, the download has been a bit poo. Oh, there we are. 2 megabytes a second, that's a little bit better. Yes, we want to update. And, um, okay, so what we're going to need to do after this is we're going to need to make sure we have Java installed because Minecraft runs off Java, you should know that by now. Then we also need to make sure Screen is installed. Screen allows you to kind of save what you're doing so that when you log out, it doesn't completely kill the server. So that's another good thing. And um, once we've done that, we then need to download Minecraft. Uh, make sure the file is executable, and then we can run our server. So it's pretty simple. So th the version of Java we need to install um, is this one. So yum install Java 1.6 uh, OpenJDK, and yes, we just want to install that. And we're almost there, so sorry about the wait. 7 megabytes per second, that's not too bad. Average speed. Okay, so while we're doing this, we just need to go to um, minecraft.net slash download. And here we can see this way down it. So for your Windows PC, you can download it here. For other platforms, you can go there. Or you can actually just copy this link here so right click and click copy link address this is the minecraft server we're going to be downloading and running so it's good that you know where that is so the next thing we're going to do is install nano actually let's install that and as well as that let's install screen oh yeah yum install nano sorry not bad And yes, we want to. There we are. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to create a new directory to store our Minecraft folder in. So I'm currently in my home directory. So let's just do make directory Minecraft. And then in here, we need to download the Minecraft jar that we've selected. So we can type in wget and then right click to paste and click enter. So that will download it here. So we can see, oh yeah. 
actually, if you've made this mistake, then I'll tell you what you can do to fix it. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this. So let's paste that in. And we're going to move it to Minecraft slash mc.jar. So it's going to move it into that folder. So let's go to um, change directory Minecraft. And then in here we've got Minecraft.jar. So what we need to do is now we need to make this file executable. This means that we can run it and things work. So we do that by doing chmod plus x. So that makes it plus executable and then mc.jar. So if we ls again, we can see it's changed color, which basically means it can be executed. Yay! Um, so now that we've got everything installed, we're pretty much ready to go, I think. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new screen. Oh, helps if I put an N on the end. So as you can see, everything's gone, and this is like a new virtual machine type screen thing. So it means that we can actually switch to this later on, and we don't lose anything that we've done. And now we need to run that Minecraft file. So if we go back onto minecraft.net slash download, we can see that there is actually this line here, which is Java X blah 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 blah. And what we want to do is we just want to copy up until that bit. And then we're going to paste it in. And then we're going to do mc.jar. And then no GUI. So let's explain what all of this does. It's saying Java because that's the file we're going to create. No, not file we're going to create. That's wrong. Sorry about that. Um, that is the program we're going to use. Then there's this bit, which is the um, minimum amount of memory it's allowed to use, or like the memory it's allowed to use, basically. Uh, same thing for this bit here. And then we're going to say it's a .jar file. Then we're going to say which .jar file to use, and then we're going to um, say we want to do it without a GUI. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out how many one and a half gig is, um, which is let's have a look. So that's apparently one five three six. That's half one and a half gigs of RAM. And seeing as it's got two gig on the server, that should be enough for the operating system to run and the actual Minecraft server. So we're just going to do that and click enter. And then our Minecraft server should start running. There we are. You can see there was a little bit of an error up here, and that's just basically saying it's tried to read a whitelist file which didn't exist, so don't worry about that. So now our Minecraft folder or file well, server is actually running. So let's close that down and open up Minecraft. So when Minecraft opens up, you can log in as you would any normal um, Minecraft launcher type thing. And let's bring it on here so whoa what did I just do there we are and then we can go to multiplayer and click add server so mine is mc.studentvm.com and there we are we have our minecraft server that we've just created so it might look really poo on this because the recording isn't going to be that great and if it seems laggy, then it's just because it's recording. But as you can see, this is my Minecraft server that I've just installed. The world looks really poo, which is unfortunate. But there we are, we now have a Minecraft server and it should be running. So one thing I want to show you what you can do is, let's disconnect, actually no, let's leave that on. But actually close this SSH connection. So as you can see, Chris joined the or joined the game. Um, so let's actually close this. Yes, we want to close it, and we can see we can still continue to play, which is great. Which means it's running in the background on the server, and we don't need to worry about doing anything. But then you've got the problem of if you've gone and got your server there, and you want to um, run some commands like makes a wanna special user and all that crap that you can do in Minecraft then what you can actually do 
is once you've logged in, so sorry the writing's a little bit smaller, um, but if we type in screen hyphen R, it switches back to it. So we can then run any kind of commands that we'd normally do. So let's just find one. So as you can tell, I probably don't play Minecraft. Well, I don't play Minecraft, but um, let's just do op cookie Chris. That's the name on here, I think. And cookie Chris has been opt. So there we are. I am now an op. I mean, I don't know what I can do with op, but I know op is like the op user. So you know. So there we are, we have a Minecraft server and everything is great. So thank you for watching, um, if you'd like to see more videos like this then make sure to comment below and um, check stuff out on the forum because there's a forum now. So thanks for watching, see you everyone, goodbye. Let's close that so I can actually stop the video. <laughs> see ya, bye.